Cain and Abel offered sacrifices but the sacrifice of Cain was rejected and the sacrifice of Abel rose up to the heavens and the Bible says God had respect for the sacrifice of Abel and Cain was angry and God said if you do it correctly if you do it correctly there is a pattern James 4 verse 1 we are reading down to 3 from whence cometh war and fightings among you come they not hence even from the lost that war in your members verse 2 ye lost and have not ye kill and desire to have and ye cannot obtain ye fight and war now read the remaining part one to read yet ye have not because ye ask not verse 3 ye ask and ye receive not why because ye ask amiss now listen the word amiss there is out of pattern out of pattern you are asking you are praying but there is a formula there is a path that leads the request of a man to the throne of heaven and this is what i want to show you let me tell you your prayer life will be remarkably blessed there is a way you pray that brings answers there is a way you pray that will command the attention of heaven if you don't know this you can pray and feel spiritual and spit saliva from morning till night and not get any results the prayer meetings in many ministries are poorly attended by because those who lead the prayers do not know what they are doing there is an art of war it says with wise counsel make war i want to show you four keys four mysteries in the spirit that have helped my prayer life i tell you you will command results you will command the attention of heaven if you learn this mystery are we together don't let anyone fool you that God answers every prayer. No. No. Hagar prayed. Her son cried. Both of them were talking to God. Only the prayer of Ishmael got to heaven. The Bible says, and God heard the cry of the young lad. He did not hear the lamentation of Hagar. Are we together? Another fact you must realize is that your tears touches God but it does not move God uh -uh. the Bible says for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched not moved with the feelings of our infirmities he is touched he sympathizes with us but if God is to take any action on your behalf it must be according to his pattern because he has exalted his word even above his name are we together pray one minute violently open my eyes as these mysteries come oh god may they not just be informations may they be spirit and life spirit and life pray pray by your mercy oh god open our eyes Shapakata Prescata Brandega Subrata, Sekete Praska Barata Bakabia, we are praying already. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Listen. Please open up your spirit to these four keys that I will be sharing with you. The first key that governs the mystery of answered prayer 
is that before your prayer touches the throne room it must be heartfelt the first key to the kind of prayer and petition that will move heaven is the prayer that moves you first are we together let me assure you that God is not playing games with men if your prayer cannot move you it will not move heaven are we together the Bible says James chapter 5 please give us verse 15 if you can give us from amplified James 5 16 we have to really be fast there's a lot of prayer tonight there's a lot of prayer James 5 16 16 16 I like us to read it says confess to one another therefore your faults your slips and false steps and so on and so forth and pray also for one another that you may be healed and restored I want us to read the B part from the earnest ready one to read the earnest heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man does what makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working the Bible was teaching us how to pray the kind of prayer that will touch heaven and it's in the character of scripture to use a figure that typifies God's idea of prayer then he says Elijah in this example was a man of like passion and the Bible says he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years Elijah shut the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said there shall be no rain except at my word and then the Bible says when it was time for the rain to fall right Elijah began to pray he prayed the first time putting his head beneath his knees and he cried and traveled let me tell you the kind of prayer that touches heaven is the kind of prayer where you pray and forget who is by your side you're not looking at makeup or suits or conscious of whether I'm sweating no 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 it must be heartfelt from the depth of your spirit are we together Hannah kept crying every time at Shiloh but a time came she prayed a heartfelt prayer the Bible says before the altar she poured her soul to a point that Eli the prophet said why is this woman drunk how can you come to the altar drunk and he said my lord I am not drunk but a woman that is pouring her soul before God and the spirit of God spoke through the prophet let me tell you something the kind of prayer that shakes heaven is prayer that is heartfelt the way a lot of believers pray you will know that you do not expect an answer are we together yeah you pray with all your heart the Bible says Jesus prayed at Gethsemane it was so heartfelt his sweat was like drops of blood same prayer without changing it three times and he sustained strength from heaven and was ready for the cross are we together are you ready to pray as i mentioned the key will pray and at the end of the fourth key i'll give us some prayer requests and we'll pray heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer when we say pray you see a lot of people strolling around chewing gums huh you see that kind of prayer let me tell you something i'm not being religious with you there is a law you are contending against forces it's like an aeroplane attempting to ride it must move and the law of aerodynamics must sustain capacity to overcome the law of gravity the flesh has its encumbrances and the moment you begin to pray the flesh will exert a weight upon you but it takes power everybody say power as you generate power in the spirit it's like a flight your flesh is weak you are feeling sleepy but you understand the law of spiritual superiority that as it is in the spirit so it will manifest your spirit is strong but the bible says the flesh is weak it's up to you to yield to the weakness of the flesh and not pray or keep praying you don't receive strength to continue praying it is in the prayer all of a sudden when your flesh is weak have you prayed to a point that you did not even expect you had strength for 10 minutes keep praying as you keep praying you are weak 
the devil keeps sending all kinds of thoughts in your mind just keep praying the secret is to continue i tell you there is an escape velocity in the spirit there is a level you will get to that it will no longer be your flesh at that level the spirit of god takes over lift your voice and pray blast in tongues a heartfelt prayer walk around don't just sit at your seat scrolling carelessly oh we are ascending we are ascending we are ascending in the realm of the spirit above and beyond the realm of the limitations of the flesh I assure you your spirit is willing. I assure you your spirit man is willing. Your spirit man is willing. Your spirit man is willing. Forget about the limitation of the flesh. With time it will bow. With time it must bow. There is a supply of grace and spirit power upon you. Grace to travel. Make it a prosperous The heartfelt, effectual, heartfelt, effectual, heartfelt. Effectual, hard fell. Effectual, hard fell. Effectual. Rata kata prakat ekne banana. Shaka ta prakat ta ketesh. Generate power, power, generate power to dislodge every force, generate power to contend with every altar, generate power to confront death, generate power to confront God, generate power to force answers. I worship you with all my heart, with all my heart. I worship you with all my heart, with all my heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. Are we together? There is, there is a judicial dimension of prayer. It's the law that governs petitions. Are we together? There is a name that God is called. And prayer activates the operation of that dimension. He is called the judge. Are we together? I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. The key to effective prayer, the kind of petition and supplication that will touch heaven is the kind that must be done in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the access code to the throne room. The access code, the mystery that opens the gates of the throne room is the name of Jesus. John 14, quickly please. John 14 verse 13. The name of Jesus is the access code. There is no other name that can open the heavens. It says, and I, give us in, in um, um, King James, King James please. It says, and whatsoever 
ye shall ask in your name in the name of a ministry it says whatsoever ye shall ask for as long as you do it in my name he says that will i do i will supervise see to it that because my name is upon it i will make sure it is answered that the father may be glorified whatsoever you ask in my name chapter 16 verse 23 same john 16 verse 23 go ahead and read it is projected inside and outside one to read and in that day ye shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you aha uh -huh, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he will give it you the name of jesus is the access code are we together the attention of the father is only attracted when any man stepping in the name standing in the office and upon the strength of that which christ has done the name of jesus a representation of his finished work and his legal standing before god is the same basis we have the bible says let us therefore come before him boldly access the throne of grace boldly not in our righteousness not based on our goodness are we together but we stand upon the name the name of jesus is a representation of all that christ did the name of jesus reminds the father of the revelation of what jesus did which is a revelation of his love for man listen you will never get anything from god based on your self-righteousness it's got to be the law of petition is that you must stand in the righteousness of christ to be heard because the bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags so we come in his name not based on our qualification are we together we are going to pray and say father i make these petitions tonight as touching your righteousness as touching your love as touching your willingness to answer me lift your voice and pray go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. The name of Jesus. Shaka paroko sopre ke nebe nebe bo. Shaka paroko sopre ke nebe nebe bo. Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. 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 Something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus. Something has. hallelujah number three listen if you must pray the kind of prayer that heaven will respond to then that prayer must be in accordance to the will of God now don't play with this this is where I believe a lot of people get cheated in the ministry of prayer 
their prayer may be heartfelt their prayer may be in the name of Jesus but it's often not in accordance to the will of God listen when you begin to make petitions in the realm of the spirit imagine yourself standing in a law court give us Isaiah 41 verse 21 listen to what the prophet teaches us about prayer Isaiah 41 verse 21 please everyone please read one to go produce your cause saith the Lord bring forth your strong reasons saith the king of Judah. why should the door be open to you bring forth your strong reason the prayer of lamentation only gives you a psychological consolation but I assure you it will not touch heaven every challenge in your life is the accuser's voice over your destiny and if you are to speak you are standing before that court of justice your petition on what ground should i be blessed father your word says if i am willing and obedient i will eat the good of the land lord i am willing and have been obedient to your principles therefore i deserve to eat the good of the land i place a demand on the strength of this reality that's how to pray you don't pray emotional prayer you don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense the only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of god which is a testament of his will show me why god must give you a child show me why god must give you a child are we together show me why God must give you a job show me why God must give you a husband because I'm beautiful it's not in the Bible are we together it's in your brain but it's not in the Bible show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family bring forth your strong reasons let me show you one more scripture I found this today and it blessed me isaiah 43 verse 26 learn this i'm teaching you this the legal dimension of prayer isaiah 43 verse 26 please read one to read put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that ye may be justified is your bible the word put me in remembrance does not mean i have forgotten give me a basis to respond upon your life like you tell a judge in the constitution subsection this it says this and that and the judge says this is true put me in remembrance let us preach together i'm a judge who is there to protect you but give me the basis so that i can make that decree we pray a lot of careless prayer prayer that is not word based if you are a pastor here don't allow anybody to climb your mic and teach nonsense and teach opinions it must be on the basis of the word if we are praying for nigeria what is the basis just because we want to intercede it's rubbish it looks spiritual but it will not be answered you see the difference between a shrine a herbalist and a christian who prays are we together please take seriously it looks like a little secret but it's a powerful one when you find it something that is a basis you can hold on to it when you read isaiah 38 the bible talks about a man called ezekiel i mean hezekiah and the bible says prophet isaiah came and told hezekiah pack up your things you will not recover from this sickness you will die ah, ah. but Hezekiah knew that if you fund the project of the building of the Lord's house the devourer should be far from you you should live long Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to plead on the strength of his sacrifice to heaven have you read in your Bible the basis upon which the baptism of the Gentiles happened in the house of a man called Cornelius. He said, Cornelius, there is a reason why I'm visiting your house. 
your giving your arms and your prayer you have supported the cause of the kingdom there was a woman who died in the bible called Dorcas. when she died there was a basis to bring her back to life the widow said look she sold clothes for us and and, and i don't know was it paul or, or, or peter now peter had to say no 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 there is a basis for this woman to return back i want to ask you a question why do you think you should not suffer because i'm a christian you are joking they are a kind of people that the bible says he reproves kings for them are you part of it before you claim a blessing find out whether you qualify for the conditions the bible does not talk to everybody in the bible demons spoke donkeys spoke where is your rema where is the word that you will use as your basis are we together When they stopped Daniel from praying, the scripture Pastor Alpha shared, listen, when Solomon dedicated the temple, part of the covenant he entered with God was that anyone who turned to the Jerusalem temple, let that be a basis. Lord, remember the seeds that were used to build this temple. This temple remains an altar representing the sacrifice of men. So whoever turns to it, remember men sowed their things to raise this as a memorial. And when they wanted to destroy Daniel, if Daniel prayed closing his womb, he would have died for nothing. He opened the window onto Jerusalem and he started praying. And when they caught him, God said, will I now violate my word? And he sent an angel to protect them. Are we together? Don't pray serious prayer until you gather the spiritual arsenals that are responsible. You've been barren. You don't just stand up and say, I, I, Lord, I want a child. What is all this nonsense? That's not prayer. It's called grumbling and complaining. It's called murmuring. Read Hebrews 2, 3, 4 and see what happened to people who murmured. The earth opened and swallowed them. What is the basis? Lord, I want my church to grow just because you think you're a Nigerian. No, there must be a basis. Many Christians don't read their Bibles. They don't study the word. They don't know the provision that is made for them. Many preachers read the Bible just to preach. They read the part that is responsible for their sermon. You must be well equipped with the word. When Satan struck, Jesus said, it is written. This is the basis. This is the basis. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. And Satan said, it's true. You have been attacking without scriptures. You have been attacking emotionally. Satan, get thee behind me. And he will ask, why? He says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. The gates replied, who is this king of glory? Why should I open up? And they said, the Lord, strong and mighty. You must pray according to the word. Let me give us the last key. The Bible says to always wrap up your prayer with thanksgiving. A very simple but powerful mystery. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7. It says be anxious for nothing. Right? Be anxious for nothing. But in everything he says, by prayer and supplication, then with it, thanksgiving, he says, make your request known. Make your request known. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, as you pray, not by complaining, make your request with, with thanksgiving. When Jesus lifted five loaves and two fish he didn't say lord are you watching your name go down the drain the bible says he gave thanks thanksgiving thanksgiving right thanksgiving thanksgiving confidence this is the confidence we have the moment we ask anything in his name he will do it so you say lord i thank you because i know that this is done 
you because I know this is done. And let me tell you, you want to take it to another dimension, you can pray a prayer that is just full of thanksgiving. No complaint. Lord Jesus, I thank you. The Bible says, for with joy shall you draw out of the wells. There are dimensions that salvation brings, but joy is the key. Joy is the key. That's why depression is associated with failure. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Are we together? We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Use the, the next few minutes to travel seriously. Please, I am pleading with you. Be serious. Be serious. Be serious. Don't, don't. When I say be serious, I don't mean stand up or sit down. That's not, or, or shout or lie down. That's not what I'm saying. Put your heart in this thing. That's why we never give you a prayer request here without giving you a scriptural backing. That's the difference between herbal, herbal witchcraft and herbal solution and a scriptural solution. Are we together? You make petitions not according to your pain. Oh God, I've been crying till now. And God says, no, there is a system. Please hear me. Cain and Abel were brothers. They both offered sacrifices. One was accepted, one was rejected. That you are in a great house like this is no guarantee. I feel like giving you one more key. Let me share with you one more key. One mystery, listen. One mystery of answered prayer, listen please, is praying with the consciousness of the covenant that governs the spiritual house, the spiritual tribe, and the man of God who supplies grace and faith for you. Now listen, this is very powerful. You can make petitions on the strength of the covenant God has with a man are we together this is the revelation of the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob what is it about them there was a covenant that was why God had the prayer of Ishmael although Ishmael was a son that came by mistake that was not God's business there was still a covenant connection and when Ishmael cried God had Abraham and remember the covenant are we together you can make petitions in heaven on the strength of access that has come when listen listen the move of god on earth is through covenants god finds a man that represents his program for a season and enters a covenant with that man and whoever associates with that man is open to that dimension god had a covenant with that man with so you can access open heavens on the strength of the personal covenant that God had with a man or God had with a house that was Daniel's secret there was a covenant that God had with the temple in Jerusalem Elijah had a covenant with God and when Elijah knew his personal faith could not get this he said where is the Lord God of Elijah Lord I approach this thing not just on my personal faith I come based on the personal covenant that you have it's not witchcraft it can be exaggerated but when it is understood you will receive tremendous results there are people riding on the wings of the tears of people are we together when the devil afflicted Papa Oyedeko's wife demons he was casting out of some people refused to leave his wife he prayed on the strength of his secret place as an apostle and the prophet of God and that situation seemed to defy him and then they went to Papa Adeboye his spiritual father and Adeboye said Lord I have a covenant with you that I will not bury any of my children remember that covenant that devil gave way at once he gave way listen there are altars that can speak for men it's a provision in the kingdom to give you easy breakthrough are we together if you do not understand this you will die like a chicken not every result is on the basis of your personal faith you can invoke covenants and god is a god that is a covenant keeping god there are men and women on earth 
on the strength of certain assignments that God gave them there are ministries that God entered a personal covenant with them it's a covenant of answered prayer let me tell you one of the covenants that is in koinonia is a covenant of answered prayer that's why we submit prayer request it's a revelation God gave me we bring every threat before God and every issue that is brought before God will command open heavens that's why you find out as we pray you begin to see manifestations it's not just about spiritual growth it's a covenant it's a covenant let me tell you God does not answer me ministerially just because I am anointed there is a covenant that's why you hear us sing that song my altar is calling you there is an altar there is a secret place one covenant we have with God in this ministry is that we will never beg for bread are we together God gave me an instruction one time and I put one one thousand naira on the ground plenty up to hundred thousand and the Lord said walk on it and pray and I walked on it and prayed through the night it was a covenant of wealth not personal covenant a covenant that covered everything that no matter what it is God will shake the heavens and raise helpers that's why you hear testimonies like this our brother it's not a result from personal faith he's even surprised where will 7.5 million come it's a power of covenant at a point in our prayer tonight we will pray not on the strength of your personal faith Lord remember the ministry I'm part of Lord remember what I'm doing I'm showing you deep keys so you don't just pray foolishly and not get results rise up on your feet and let's pray my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god take my praise take my praise is calling you hey, hey. take my praise take my praise is calling you one more time let's sing it my altar is calling you oh god My Hallelujah. Praise God. We are going to pray. Listen. The first prayer point for time's sake. We are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives. We will pray for Nigeria. But I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who at that mountain before Zerubbabel? Are we together? Who at that mountain before Zerubbabel? He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout, grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, pray. speak to the mountain the bible says if you speak to that mountain it will give way if you speak kabatalapatia oh i speak i speak i speak i prophesy I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation mocking the grace of God in my life. Every limitation mocking the power of God in my life. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I command that dagon. You must bow. I command that dagon. You must bow. I command that dagon. You must bow. That dagon of joblessness. That dagon of poverty. That dagon of stagnation. Oh, I command you. I command you. In the name of the Lord God, whose I am and whom I serve. 
Rabakata kata bara da bakasata. Era masot hari ana magara raba. Era na 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 nech, na na de, na na de, na na de, na na de, na na bari ana raba. Shakata pras kata barekete, shakata prekete. I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.